Representative Carlos Carbello demonstrating his ability to forgive and forget, holding a news conference today with a South Florida teenager who was arrested after allegedly threatening the congressman on social media. Local 10's Leanne Morajon is live with more on this. Leanne. And Nicole, this teen took to Twitter to say, I will kill Carlos Curbelo. Really tough words, really scary words, considering the climate we're living in and recent incidents that have turned violent words into real violent actions. But today, that teen and their congressman met to put things past them. This friendly handshake between Congressman Carlos Corbello uh, and 19-year-old Pierre uh, Vergas Pierre, Castro uh, would have seemed have unlikely case. last week when the teen was arrested for posting an online Great. death threat directed English? at the Republican lawmaker. Yesterday when he and I met, Pierre offered his sincere apology. Today I want everyone to know that I forgave him. Corbello called for a news conference Thursday at the Homestead Police Department in the same room where he and Vergas Castro met just one day before. We got uh, feedback uh, that this was a young man who, who, who really didn't have any intention of uh, doing what he wrote and um, who felt terribly about it. Vergas Castro did not take questions, citing the still open investigation. But Curbelo paraphrased why the teen threatened to kill him on Twitter based on their recent conversation. He has some personal reasons, and then he has, um, you know, the, the reason of, of living in this increasingly violent society, which I think obviously has um, had a negative influence on many Americans. Corbello hoping this reconciliation can lead to a second chance. An example of how this society can heal, can reconcile, and a reminder uh, that this type of speech really has no place in our society. And Corbello says that he has reached out to the state attorney's office to say that the charges against Pierre should be dropped. But again, this investigation and this case are still ongoing. Reporting live in Homestead, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.